Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Splatoon 2. Still going through Sector 4, but we're getting through it quite quickly, somewhat. And we're getting close to the end as well. Level 19, the Experimentorium. Floaty fun. I believe I enjoyed this level a lot, playing through it. It's very different playing through this game, though. Doing it all, like, as few times as possible going through, because you have a lot less of the upgrades. But also that's probably a good thing, in some respects, so you can upgrade them all later on. Okay, take this with you, it'll help me gather some practical da battle data. Boom, bam, it's a crowd-pleasing uh, face popper, the Hero Blaster. Even enemies behind walls aren't safe from the blasted exploding shots. It doesn't really do rapid fire, so make sure not to get splattered between shots. So this is the Hero Blaster, which has a little bit of an extra sp splash radius around it when, when it reaches its uh, end of its shot, so you can see it blasts out at the end. But it's a pretty good weapon, so, especially for fighting enemies with shields. Like if I just go around like that, no, nope, I missed, but I hit the first shot. But I can go around that shield like that, so. Now there are three launch pads here, and three things here that need keys. So let's pick one. I guess I'll start with the one on the left. And we'll come back to this, those other two. But anyway, we've also reached a checkpoint for going over here. Should probably have been just shot that more. But anyway, whenever we hit one of these uh, targets, I can't remember what they're actually called, they will activate, changing the level around us, which is really cool because this, this whole area is shifting form, which I love that. There's the Sardinium, or Sardinium. Technically. Sardine. Sardinium. Okay, hello. You. I have to deal with you, but also there's a thing down there that we can blow up to make it easy to get across. Just to make sure we have that area paint painted. There's also another one here that we can paint. Paint all that down at down area. Uh, we can grab those, because we're going to need them. Let's just hit that a few times. There we go. Now, if, let's see if I can make this jump work. Also, apparently I can't paint that when it was moving like that. Okay, we have these... Octocopters, though, I think. That's what they're called. Get rid of those, okay. Let's paint that. And that should activate the platform over there. Now that blocking distance is moving. Okay, let's hit that. Almost. Just have to wait for it to go round to hit it again. There we go, and look at all those parts fall into place. Falling into place all the way over here, of course. Down there, so let's go do that carefully. Need to go up using that. Also, these things look stronger because they have like a helmet. Like they have things on the sides. I think that's, that's, that's representing that they're stronger than the regular octocopters. So let me hit you, like that. Also, in a minute, we're going to reach part of the level which is not designed for other weapons. Key, launch, ch check. Launch pad ahoy. So in that section, we got a key, which brings us back over here. We need to go through each one of these to get keys. Which I think is a really cool way of doing this level. But this is the part which is not set for other weapons, really. You can use the burst from the blaster shot to grapple around. Like that. I mean, the other weapons are alright for this. They, you, you can definitely do every level with every weapon, but this is really not designed for it. There's the thing, though, because we have to shoot between all of these without missing, otherwise we'll die, which apparently I'm still bad at this. Okay. Try this again. I missed. This isn't looking good for me. This part of the level is probably the worst one because of how precise you have to be and it gets worse with other weapons as well I missed and game over or do I have one more shot nope game over so it'd probably be best to do that part of the level uh, first probably I don't remember having that much trouble with that part with this with the hero blaster but I remember having trouble with the other weapons so because the way that you do it with other weapons is either the weapon can actually reach that far, or you throw bombs, which then is going to be really difficult, so it's really just strange, really. 
But anyway, we have to go through this all, all again, so... Although I can also do it out of order and do that bit that we're up to first, so... Yeah. And let's go into the second section again. I think I need to actually hold forward on the control stick while doing it to make it work better. Possibly, because I don't think I was doing that on the second section, which was a mistake. There's also that pad, like that, that panel there that we need to hit with ink to allow us to get the, um, the sea scroll. So that's also something to keep in mind. Oh my goodness. I think with this, you can actually just use the, like, splash damage to try and get around. Okay, that's fine. As long as I'm still alive. I can go back, because it only has that little catch area there, if you're far enough forward, so... I really do not like this part of the level. <laughs> it's alright before, but it's really just not wanting to work now. Game over again! That was close. But I'm having trouble with the first section now, which is not a good sign for the second one. Maybe I shouldn't hold the forward on the control stick. Okay, hit that. That's good. Now the C scroll is down there, but also I have to get through this without dying on my last life. Ha oh, oh. ha. There we go. Oh my goodness. That area is not supposed to be that difficult with this weapon, so... Let's grab that and the key. And let's go. Now I have to redo the first area. But I think I'm probably also just going to do the set the third area first. Probably. Just to make sure I don't die. I don't know. Good thing there are checkpoints here to give me back my lives. I'm also do that. Somewhat. Come on, let me shoot you. There we go. This weapon is really good for fighting these enemies, which is good. Some some of the level design in this is alright. I just don't like that one section. Anyway, for taking them out, we can go down here. And keep going this way. Probably want to keep taking them out. Just keep doing all of these things. Oh, I want those fish eggs. Give them to me. Let's move forward, and I think we're going to have some... Mini Octostomp things. Because I think that's what those are supposed to be, but I can't remember what they're called anymore. I should know the names of the enemies. I've played this game a fair bit, so... Specifically the single player, so... But anyway, let me throw that over there. Nope, I missed. That's fine. Just let me take you out then. The normal way. Try to deal with the rest of this. Like that. that. Okay. Just gonna take my time on this, even though I'd like to get some better times later on. Okay. Let's grab that. Okay, now I have to redo the first area. <laughs> I'll be back in a second. This, this, the third area is alright as well. Just don't get go forward too quickly, otherwise the enemies will spawn in on you, and will push you off the edge, basically. Okay, there we go. Let's grab the key. Let's head back to the middle. Because now in the middle, we can use these keys on these three blocks here, which basically just have switches on them to hit. So let's hit that one there. Probably hit the one in the middle last, but I'm going to do that. Right switch, left switch, and middle switch. And this middle area goes up, which now has a launch pad on it. So let's just drop, jump into that. From above. I think this area also has a lot of madness, basically. A lot of all these things everywhere. I think there's a secret area that you can get to which just has some fish eggs for you. Somewhere. Let me hit you, please. I'm out of ink. Trying to take these out so I can get some of the fish eggs. 
because I really want more fish eggs than I currently have. What are you looking at? You're just trying to clean? I think they're just trying to clean. But I need to go over this way. Hang on. Over that way. Nope. This way. Please. Please. Go this way. I'm very scared to jump right now, but I'm going to do it. Okay, there's the key. And there's more things to take out, I guess. Uh, I'm probably going to need to wait for an opportunity to get up onto one of them. Or... I can make a mad dash in the middle. Like that. Okay, that... I think this is the, sh the secret. I feel like it is. Yeah, this is the secret. Okay. Whoa, what is this place? It's like your own private island, except full of deadly flutters. Sigh. Callie always hated flutters. I mean, flutters are pretty terrifying. When you think about it. The very robotic movements make them more terrifying. But there's a whole bunch of fish eggs here to get. Basically, so I'm going to grab these while I'm here. If I can. Just need to wait for these to go into the middle so I can get them all at once. Just like that. I think some of these boxes might also have some more for us to get. If I can get them. Okay, thank you. You just have to use the flutters as platforms. I missed. That's fine. I'll just do that. Get those, thank you. There's a thing of fish eggs there. Now how do I get to the other side from here? Will you go this way? Maybe? Maybe not? Hang on, I'm gonna go on you. This is a better position to get over there. Possibly. Hang on. Almost. Nope. Come back. Come back. I think if you spray ink on the ground, it makes it easier to get them into position. But here's, here's, this is the last box, which actually has a meal ticket in it for some money. Money stuff. Okay, well, let's head back to the other platform then. Because we have this key to use. Also, I'm surprised that that launched me on top of one of the squeegees. It's a good thing, though. Let's go over here. Jump. And there we go. There's also just a random balloon down there with some extra fish eggs. But anyway, let's see another level if we wanted to just do that earlier. Mwah. 8 minutes 56 seconds. Oh, it's been a lot more than that since I started the level though. It's been 16 minutes. Oh boy. Well, I'm looking forward to playing that later on once I have upgrades of stuff. So now we have the Hero Blaster. Sa Salmonoid Sam Salmonids are known. I feel like I'm still getting it wrong. Are known to keep their weapons in tip top shape. The frying pans they wield have often been passed down from generation to generation. You can see the unwavering pride of these fierce warriors in their somewhat crazed eyes. I believe this is referring to the salmons in Salmon Run. In their lore, if you look deeper into it, it's saying that they like to use these like cooking stuff to basically cook themselves in Salmon Run when you like as presenting themselves to the inklings as food, I guess. They are somewhat crazed. It's fine. We get a pet one in P Splatoon 3 from what I know. You just squid, kid. Thank you. Uh, anyway, let's go to the next level, since we're getting close to the end of this world. Level 20. Propeller land. Rubber parasols. This is an interesting level. And we also get a new weapon as well. Let's look at the, like, things floating around. We get the Hero Brella. 
This is a secret weapon that everyone wants to play with, the Hero Brother. Press CR once to shoot ink, or hold the button to use the umbrella as a shield. Keep holding the button and the, um and the umbrella will launch off, leaving a trail of ink behind it. It takes a bit of getting used to, but it's really powerful, and it looks super rad. So this is basically a, a shotgun kind of weapon, but also, if you hold it down, it has a, a umbrella, which will be used as a shield, but also when it shoots out is... Like, if you hold it down long enough, it will shoot out, and you can use that to push areas. It's, uh, interesting, to be sure. But anyway, I think there's also some enemies that are going to spawn in here to take out, so let's use the umbrella as a shield and take them out. Just like that. It is really powerful, actually, and this isn't even upgraded yet. Interesting. Let's grab that. We also have a split path here, so we have either left or right, and I think I would normally go this way. Possibly? I might be wrong about that, actually. I think I'd normally go the other way. Get rid of you, please. Please. Okay, let's go. Brella's great at defense against Octo Snipers. Also, we have Ink Visible's platforms here. So let's use those as best we can. I like the shotgun spread of this. Also, I might want to use my uh, culling bombs because they're very helpful. Ow. Oh, bad. That's not good. It's fine. I have health. Also, let's go up this way. Take you out. Grab this key. Not going over the edge. And let's keep going, because we're going back now. And now we go to the other side. Trouble from the skies. Well, that's fine. I'm just going to leave them there. Also, there's a flutter here, but I don't think it comes to life, which is good. I might be wrong about that, actually. It might come back to life after we're done up here. Hello. Take you out. Guard against a barrage of enemy ink. Because that's the... Like a... A, sp a splatling. Okay. Also, this is interesting. I think I actually need to get up onto the other platform. Over this way, carefully. And then... Have that drop there. Now we can get on top of it. We can get to where we need to go. Come on. This way. Oh, that was a bad move. It's fine. It's all fine. Okay. Over here. C clean up the ink. Come on. There we go. Let's grab that key, and let's go back to the launch pad. Because now we have two keys, we can go back to the middle. This flutter is not alive. Good to know. Uh, but I think there are a few things that we, that we can do here. First of all, there's an enemy. Splatling. No, what is it called? Octoling. I can't remember names anymore, apparently. Which is crazy. Anyway, let's hit that to activate that, and let's go up. But also, paying attention to the underside of that, we can hit that switch there. And over this way is the sea scroll. So there we go, and we've used up both of our keys now to continue. Okay, let's just get rid of all these. If we can, not refocusing the camera accidentally. It takes a lot of ink to get rid of all these boxes. But it's fine. Let's go ahead and use this to get around somewhat faster. I think I want to also hit that box there. Oh, there's actually an enemy there. Uh, I'm just gonna... Splash... I can't remember the names anymore. I should really be remembering the th names of things that I've already talked about. It hasn't been that long since I last played, has it? <laughs> Stuff just leaves my memory, apparently. Uh, we need to hit that fan so we can go this way. All the way this way. Also, I missed all those, but that's probably fine. Uh, we need to go this way quickly. Like that. Dashing. Okay. We need to also go over here and hit that fan there. I think this calls for some long distance brilla action, which if you don't have the brilla, you probably just have to use the, um... Ah, uh, what's it called? Curling bombs. You have to use two curling bombs. But we also have to get to the other side of this area somewhat quickly, and we also have to time this. That's rude. 
Also, hang on, where's my umbrella? It has to recharge. Okay, there we go. It's very rude, this entire area here, apparently. Go, quick, 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 quick. Quick, 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 quick. Nope, apparently not. Okay. Well, that's fine, let me just do this then. I don't have any, enough ink, it's fine. This is not gonna be easy, is it? Not with the current upgrades that I have, at least. Just to make sure. Jump! Okay, we've also got some Octo Snipers here. So let's try and take them out, if I can, except I don't have... ...skills to pay the bills, I don't know. That's better. Just trying to use the... ...curling bombs... ...effectively against them. Okay, there we go. There's a key. Let's go ahead and grab that. And now for this bit, which you can probably have trouble with... ...with different weapons, but anyway, let's go ahead and activate that. We also need to hit that in the middle there. If I can. To bring that down, and we can jump up, and there's the thing. The zapfish. Five minutes, 51 seconds. That's a while. Also, I missed the Sardinium. Hmm. Anyway, we've got the Hero Brawler now. Don't miss Problem Solved, starting with Mar Murray. On SBS this Saturday night. And every week thereafter, at 25 sharp. Tune in. in <laughs> tune in for a few study tips. And a whole lot of procrastination. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, anyway, I have to go back into the level because I missed the Sardinium. And I also wanted to look at the harder version of the floaty fun. But I'll come back to that. So let's change weapon. I'm tempted to go with the Gatling, actually. Or the Splatling. You know, the, the, the things that... Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Splatling. Okay, so we're back at the bit with the, what's it called? Now we have two keys, but also there's a thing up here that we could possibly get if I did it right. So let's do that maybe, jump over here. This is just for a meal ticket, but it's still worth grabbing if you're playing for the first time and wanting to level up and all that. But I feel like the, the Sardinium is further forward still, possibly. Oh, is that it there? Looks like it. Okay, so it's just me being... ...bad at things. Basically. Because it looks like the Sardinium is just up here, if I had just looked up, basically. Right there. Where I, where I looked up at the fish eggs and just ignored it, basically. Anyway. To get the good times on this, you really just have to ignore the enemies, but I still have a really bad time, apparently. This must be going slow. I need more... I really need to upgrade my everything right now. Jump. Okay. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Couldn't be more perfect. It's a good thing I picked a fairly good ranged weapon for this, because it'll make it a lot easier to hit this. And get that. But there we go. Smooch. Just because I missed that last time, I'm pretty sure. 449 could be a lot better, but that's probably because I was still trying to get stuff done, and I haven't upgraded my weapons yet, so... It's a slow... slow process getting through this, apparently. Okay, level 21. Octolings, ahoy! Moray Twilight. We get to pick whatever weapon we want to go into this. I'm gonna pick... Probably Dooley's, because I like that. I mean, there's no blah blah blah, so I can't take that into it, sadly. Uh, 
Looks like you've got Octolings to deal with. Octo Snipers too. You know the drill. Go find the mini Zapfishes. Zapfishies. This is an interesting level because it's more a towers, but it's got Octo Snipers all around it, and also Octolings that just drop in. But it's all the level's all over the place basically, with where it wants you to be, getting stuff done. Let's grab this though. Gonna work my way down. There are definitely different ways you can get the Zapfish in this level. Different order, that is. I don't know which, which one's gonna be the best, but I'm gonna also just take that out. Doctor Snipers can see me. It's fine. Let me just take that out, grab this. Is there anything down here that I can't see? I don't think so. I'm gonna just go this way. Carefully. Always carefully. Oh, hello. We can also take this rail over this way to the other side. But it means we also have to go back and get some other stuff. It, it really is all over the place. Ow. That, that's a rude thing to do. Put a ink wall there. A splash wall. Come on. Let's grab this. It's the third mini zapfish. Now I'm sure there's probably... Stingray here, apparently. Oh, I need, need to dodge around more. Okay, but this is the spawn point. That's the Sardinium. I feel like I might have missed something else, possibly. So I'm going to go back down this way, just normally. I could have jumped down, but I'm just going to walk down normally, somewhat. So I'm pretty sure I heard that. I'm going to try and get rid of you. Okay, it's fine. Uh, we could also possibly take out the Octo Snipers from here. What's hello? Like that, and that one there. Is there any more? I don't know, but I don't have a thing anymore, so let's go this way. Back up to the top, apparently. Might just be worth jumping off. There's a box down there that I'm tempted to check. Just some fish eggs, but that's still pretty good. Also, hello. Let me just take you out. More splash walls. <laughs> Gotta go around this time, just because I can't be bothered taking them out. Oh, hello. Take you out. Okay. Let's grab this. Out. Out. Hang on. Oh, hey, look at that. Also, how many things do I have? I have four out of eight, so I'm probably good to just grab this. But I just need to make sure I don't miss the collectibles. Because I like to get it on the first try, because then I can get the rest of the... Like, the better time next time I play through this level. What just happened? I think I dodged roll forward. That was, that was a forward dodge roll, I'm pretty sure it just happened, but it, it freaked me out. Because I'm, I, I basically jumped forward. Suddenly. Okay, there's this one. And then this is the last one, but I'm still missing the sea scroll. Somewhere. I think that box over there isn't anything that special, but I'm going to check it anyway. Careful. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just a random thing. Yep. A stingray, so we could use that earlier to take out the Octo Snipers. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Goodbye. <laughs> Apparently that happened. Also, there's this here, a cannon. So we could have actually taken out a bunch of things with this. Like a bunch of things. Gotta take that out. Means I can check a few places. I actually think that over here is actually where the thing is. Possibly if I jump out this area here. This box. Sea scroll. There we go. Perfect. I just need to go around now. <laughs> to get back up. This way. And grab this. Mwah. I, I should have been two seconds faster. Ah, I was so close. Anyway, that's that level done. And now we have made it to the next boss. Pandemonium ensued when Popstar Callie was spotted at the airport by fans after wrapping up filming 
for her upcoming TV drama in New Star Sardine. Is New Sardine a place that we've seen yet, as of before Splatoon 3? I feel like I don't know about this or not. Maybe, I don't know. She smiled through it all, but it's clear to this reporter that the pressure of fame is getting to her. Interesting. Anyway, let's go to the boss, I guess. And I'll go back to the other level in a second. Boss goes open, I'm sure. Hope the Great Zapfish is down there. Well, it's doubtful. <laughs> Knowing Splatoon games and how the, the fact that we're in Sector 4, not 5. Okay, let's go. Just like that. And in. Sanitize... <laughs> ah. Sanitizarium. Sanitizarium. The Octo Shower. With a Sheldon request. I could really use some more data on this weapon. The Hero Charger. Also, this place is really cool. Like, it's a sewer kind of pipes er everywhere with valves, and it's got these, like, plugs just hanging down from the ceiling. It's really cool. Also, like, that spinning fan there. That's This is such a really cool air boss area. All the boss areas are really cool. Cleaner of Inklings, Octo Shower. It's being held up by some Octo... ...copters. And we'll basically do exactly what it is. If it's targeting you, it will try and shower over you. So we need to take out these... ...octocopters if we can, which it will try and dodge out of the way. But once they are taken out... ...we won't have anything holding it up. Oh, missiles! Need to be careful. This thing is angry at me, apparently. It does like to move around as well, so we need to be... On top of everything, basically. Because it has several areas that we can go to to try and hit it, so... Let's go up this way. And maybe hit it. Maybe hit it. There we go. And we just need to hit its weak point. Let's go. We can't stay on top of it, though. I also love that they're just using a plug to hold it up. Okay, bring the Octo Troop Copters down. Oh, it's got a different gun now. Need to be careful. Missed. Need to go somewhere else. Also dodge out of the way because it's doing that. Okay. Get closer to it if we can. Okay. It's fine. Please. Okay. Hit you and hit you and hit you. Flambe this fool. Now these ones are gonna jump around. Okay. But the third part of the fight is probably the one part that I like the most because it has a few differences. Oh, but it's got a stingray, so that can cut through walls, so I need to be careful of that. And I think actually I might be thinking about the alternate versions of the fight because it actually has some extra rails basically to get around. I'm in a bad spot. Don't stand under it when it showers. Goes to full blast. Yeah, in the other other weapons of this fight, it has uh, ink rails to get around, like to get high enough to shoot its things. Because otherwise you wouldn't be able to reach it because this is. The, 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 the required weapon is a long-ranged range weapon. Oh, I'm in a bad spot. Oh, let me go up here, please. Please. I'm just trying to shoot at these things without them moving out of the way or getting knocked off. Might be actually better to be further away, maybe. I don't know. I'm trying to get closer. But it's really not making it easy to do that. Okay, please. Charge up faster and... Don't miss. Okay, 
Okay, two more. Oh, it's going to do that then, okay. Just gonna get out of the way. Oh, Stingray again. Ow, it's fine. I'm fine. Please, let me shoot you. One more. On. No. Gonna stare it down. Wow, that was risky. But I got it. End it. Oh, that was very risky, but I did it. But this fight is pretty good, especially with some of the different weapons which work really well against it. I'm gonna try and put a, a clip of me doing a weapon that's really good against it in. I think it might be an upgraded weapon though, so it might make it go by a lot faster, but I think the, um, the slosher makes it go by really quickly. Run. Leave and never look back. I, uh, are you holding the phone upside down? Uh, I totally was. Callie? Um, nope, this is definitely not Callie, so just leave. It's dangerous here, and it's not safe at all. Um, don't you mean the, the same thing? Don't those mean the same thing? Whatever, just get out of here. I'm not calling again. Well, wait, don't go. Callie, Callie! I... I can't believe it. Could Callie really be working with the Octarians? Agent 4, I need your help now more than ever. You're not much of a talker, are you? Well, you're still here, so I'm going to keep telling you to do stuff. Let's go. Okay, Callie and the Great Zapfish are up ahead. Let's do it. Do this, Agent 4. But I'm quickly going to go back into the fight, probably with uh, the slosher with the not upgraded. Just look at it in a different way. And I'm also going to go back to the other level that I did. Just quickly, basically. There's a rail to get around. Very nice. Also, there's... Uh... Roll Nidium. Uh, roll Dinium. Ah, uh, roll an oleum. I don't know. Also, there's a bouncer thing here. Well, let's get rid of you. And you, maybe. It's just very different for different weapons, apparently. Just make sure it's possible to do it. Come on. It's getting too far away now. That's fine. I can catch up to it, probably. Come on. Come on, just hit it. Come on. It's so close. Oh my goodness, missiles shoot them down. It's fine, I just need to hit this last thing and then I can take it out basically because it's that powerful. Nope, hang on. Okay, there we go, and then from above you just shoot it and it's just over basically. Because from being from above it, with a slosher is just really fast. If it's in an awkward swap spot, use the the ink rails to get around, because it makes it a lot better. It makes it also just pretty easy to get above it and sh take it out when it's exposed. A much better time, but it's still pretty slow considering. Actually, no, it wasn't a better time. Apparently, maybe I don't know. I might have just been not just playing. I don't know. But if you can get the timing down, it's a lot faster than that, so... What's the worst weapon I can think of for this? Probably Roller. <laughs> okay, it's also got these extra platform for extra height. I still failed. Wow. On the first jump. I think you probably want to jump throw. Which might use up a fair bit of ink, though, is the thing. But also, I think that the Roller is actually going to be alright for this because of that. Just because it can throw it out. Just like that. <laughs> Not like that though, no! This area is just really... 
Not designed for some weapons. And and then good for others. Okay, it was mostly alright, but I, I still did make it. And you have to keep throwing, mashing it by basically. Oh. Yeah, if you just keep mashing it, you should probably get through there. But yeah, that area is not made for other weapons. But anyway, that is probably it for now. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Also got platforms here to help you get around, apparently. And what is this madness that you have made me do? Game. Why? It's not designed for that with the other weapons. I mean, it still works, but it's not designed for it, but still. Fairly slow time with that one. Anyway.